hey guys welcome back to my channel long time no see i have been getting so many questions where is the makeup tutorial where is the tutorial at says what products do you use from my instagram to my tiktok to people in person and here i am finally giving you guys a soft glam makeup tutorial my everyday soft glam makeup look so if you guys want to see how i achieved this flawless face then just keep on watching all right jumping right into the video first things first i've already did my brows off camera i feel like my brows are like super basic so it's no need to do them but if you guys do want to see a full tutorial on how i achieve my eyebrows or how i do them let me know let me know down in the comments down below i will share with you guys what i use so i went in with this morphe java eyebrow pencil and in with this nyx brow tint pen lift and snatched in the shade espresso and then i just used some la girl pro concealer to clean up my brows i'm gonna go in with this juvia's place eye primer and i'm going to prime my eyelids Anytime you are doing a eye look, you always want to make sure you are priming your eyes so that your eyeshadows look very vibrant and they pop. I'm going to go in with this Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm going to set that primer in place just so when I do apply my shadows, the eyeshadows aren't moving around and it makes it more easier for the shadows to be blended out. I'm going to go in with this Charlotte Tilbury bronzer in the shade Deep Five. So a little trick that I like to do is I like to take my contour powder and I start from where the beginning of my eyebrow starts and I just do my contour for my nose, but I only do it halfway. I learned this trick from Makeup Shayla years ago. It just makes it easier when it's time to do your nose contour and you kind of have a guide on where to finish up at. Now for shadows, I'm going to be going in back and forth with a lot of different Morphe palettes. So just bear with me again, all the palettes, everything I'm using will be listed down below. Anytime I'm doing my eyeshadow, I like to first go in with a transition shade. And this is a shade that is just going to bring all your colors together. You never want to go in with just like your dark shades because it's not going to be that easy to blend those shades out. This mirror is not too distracting. I always have to have my mirrors like super up close when I'm doing my makeup. An orange shade and place that in my crease. And with a brown shade and place that in my crease as well. Oh, 
Once we have our eyeshadow all blended out, I'm going to go in and cut my crease. And if you guys didn't know, I have hooded eyes, so I think a cut crease looks very flattering on my face. I feel like when I don't do a cut crease, I'm like, what am I doing with my life? So we're going to do a cut crease. I'm going to use that same primer I use as a base for my eyeshadow to do a cut crease. When it comes to my cut crease, I have to be super duper duper close to a mirror. So bear with me for like a few minutes. So anytime I'm doing my cut crease, I always start at the beginning of my eyelid. And I do kind of like a halfway circle going across my Once our cut crease is finished, I like to go in with like a muted white shade and pack that color all over where we put that primer. I'm gonna go in with that same shade I used in my crease to blend out the edges of that cut crease so everything looks well blended and not so harsh. I have been in love with brown liquid liner. Now I can say that if I'm like going out or something for the night, I will do a black liner, but normally I always use a brown liquid liner. And I'm gonna use this NYX liquid liner in the shade brown. Next, I'm just going to take a makeup wipe and clean the edges of my eyes. I always do this step. Go in using some Lancome mascara. And I'm going to put some mascara on my lashes so when it's time to apply my false lashes, my eyelashes and the falsies blend together. And you can use any mascara. Now going in with skin prep, I'm going to use this Pond's moisturizer. Even though I have oily skin, I still like for my face to feel moisturized because one, I'm using a lot of powders and powders tend to dry your face out so that's why i use this moisturizer next i'm going to go in with this set of fill sunscreen and spf 50.
if you want your makeup to last all day long and you have oily skin like myself i highly recommend this power grip primer by elf you guys this is super affordable i think it's like ten dollars and it compares to um the milk hydro grip primer so if you want something that's a little more affordable i would definitely check this out I'm pretty sure I put on too much SPF, but we're not gonna talk about it. I have a few discolorations and dark spots, and anytime I'm doing my foundation, before I go on with my foundation, I like to basically kind of color correct, but not really color correct, because it's a foundation, it's literally my shade. But this is super full coverage, super duper thick. Um, also, if you have oily skin, I do recommend this foundation. It lasts all day long. And again, it is super full coverage. So for foundation, I'm going to go on with my absolute favorite foundation at the moment. And if you have oily skin, this is another great foundation for you. This is the NARS Soft Matte Foundation in the shade Medium Deep Vibe. And I swear by this, I own three and just thank me later, okay? Thank me later. This foundation literally matches my skin complexion to the T. blend out my foundation I always use a damp beauty blender make sure you always dampen your beauty blender squeeze it out because if you don't you're gonna pick up all that product all that foundation all the concealer so again make sure it's very important that you are wringing out your beauty sponge not wearing a turtleneck I would definitely be blending this foundation down my neck that's very important that you're doing that but again I have on a turtleneck so it really doesn't matter I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade Butterscotch I'm then going to go in with another concealer. This is the One Size Concealer in the shade Deep One. And I can say that this One Size Concealer, you guys, dries very quickly. So you got to move kind of fast. And it's also super full coverage. Bring up that concealer on or up the sides of my nose. Of questions about like foundation shades and I would highly recommend that you guys go to Sephora and get color matched and then get some free samples and see like what foundations you like what you don't like again like it's free why not reason why I like to take my concealer up the sides of my nose because it gives it an illusion of a smaller nose and I just like the way that looks so that's why I always bring my concealer up the sides of my nose Now I'm going to go in and bake. I'm going to use my Huda Beauty setting powder in the shade Blondie. I'm going to take this little powder puff and my chin. 
Okay, I think I just put a little too much on my chin, but we're not gonna talk about it. Under my eye. I just feel like if you don't look like a powdered donut, then what are you doing? The bridge of my nose. And again, I'm just going to drag that contour down. Then going back in with that Huda Beauty setting powder and cleaning up our contour. So back in with that shot to be bronzer and I'm going to contour my face. You always want to make sure that you contour your face because after you use all those powders and all that foundation and concealer, you kind of lose dimension to your face and this just brings your face back together. I'm just going to go in with some loose setting powder and clean up that contour. You guys don't get anything from this tutorial please make sure you pick up this sephora micro smooth powder i'm in the shade 65 toffee and this has been a game changer for me i posted a tiktok video about this and it kind of went viral and the girlies were like we already knew about that Alyssa ashley told us i'm like my bad girl i didn't know but yeah so I literally just use this powder to wipe away all that Huda Beauty powder. And it literally just blends right in to my skin. Please make sure you guys are wiping off all of that product and foundation off your lips. It is like a pet peeve of mine when I see people go in to try to do like lip liner or lip gloss and they still have all that product on their lips. It's like how do you expect the true color to show up if you're just putting in brown foundation? Like come on now. As you can see our face is super duper powdery and to fix that i'm gonna go in with my mario badescu facial setting spray and i'm literally going to drench the thing i hate about this camera is that it overheats so um like i was saying i just went in with my mario badescu spray i literally drenched my face in this i let it sit just so that all that powder could just like soak and merge into like my skin and look like skin and not like a whole bunch of caked up powder so the show must go on going to take that crease shade that we use and i'm going to blend that color under my lash line i'm going with this black radiance blush it's in the shade warm berry i feel like as a woman of color if you're not wearing blush what are you doing? Blush just gives you like that baby doll look and I just love a lot of blush, I do. I'm gonna go in with my Artist Couture highlighter in the shade Conceited. And I've had this honestly for years, um, but there's still like a lot of product left, so it works fine for me. Oh 
Oh Lord. Oh Lord. I think I bought a little too much. For lashes, I'm gonna go on with these Cherry Blossom Lashes number 922. And you guys, these are my absolute favorite lashes and they're only a dollar. Now, let me put you guys on game when it comes to lashes, okay? So, I like to take my lashes and I measure them to my eyes. And as you can see, kind of, they are absolutely too long for my eyelid. So what do you do? You cut the lash. Stop putting on lashes that do not fit your lash. Just stop. Because it makes you just look like, it makes you look a mess, okay? You, you look a mess with them. So just please listen to me and cut your lashes, okay? You want your lashes to fit your face, okay? Like so. Another step that I like to do is I like to take an eyelash curler and I like to curl my lashes. Because I feel like sometimes when you get lashes, they tend to just go straight out instead of flaring. I'm going to put my lashes on off camera and I'll be right back. Lashes are now on. I'm going to go in again with that Lancome mascara and I'm just going to apply some mascara on my bottom lashes. Now for my favorite part, last but not least, I'm gonna go in with this Sephora lip liner. And I'm just going to line my lips. I'm going to now go in with this Morphe lip gloss in the shade Chill. Open it off with my favorite lip oil by Ruby Kisses. I get this from the beauty supply store. And you can never have on too much lip gloss. Like there's literally no such thing. makeup look all together I got my makeup done sometime last year and the makeup artist that did my makeup put me onto this and this has literally changed the game for me so I use the soft matte powder foundation by Rihanna in the shade 390 and I place this powder everywhere I put my concealer All right, guys, this is the final makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned some tips and tricks and maybe pick up some of the products that I use. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everything I use will be linked and listed down below in the description box. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.